Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's media empire expands with Spotify podcast deal. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are podcasters now. Spotify announced on Tuesday an exclusive partnership with Archival Audio, a new audio first production company founded by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The deal allows the couple to grow their streaming and media footprint. It's their latest investment since they announced in January that they were stepping back from their roles as senior members of the British royal family and becoming financially independent. In September, Harry... And Megan signed a multi-year production deal with Netflix. Megan also narrated the documentary Elephants on Disney Plus for Spotify, a music streaming app that is also building a podcast empire with major acquisitions and exclusive content from big names. The deal cements its reputation as a destination for prestige audio content. Kim Kardashian West signed an exclusive deal with Spotify in June. Michelle Obama debuted the Michelle Obama podcast on Spotify in July. The Joe Rogan Experience, one of the most popular podcasts in the world, is now exclusive to Spotify. This partnership brings exclusive content from two more high-profile celebrities to serve and grow Spotify's global audience of 320 million monthly active users. The company said in a press release Tuesday that the two will host and produce podcasts that will build community through shared experience, narratives and values. Archival Audio's multi-year partnership with Spotify includes numerous programs, some hosted and others produced by the Duke and Duchess. A holiday special hosted by them will be released later this month. Their first series will debut next year. All projects will be available exclusively on Spotify. What we love about podcasting is that it reminds us all Alf, to take a moment and to really listen to connect to one another without distraction, the Duke and Dr. Sussex said in a joint statement. With the challenges of 2020, there has never been a more important time to do so because when we hear each other and hear each other's stories, we reminded of how interconnected we all are. Don Ostroff, Chief Content and Advertising Business Officer for Spotify, told CNN Business last year that the company was planning to offer more exclusives as a way to lure customers from the other podcast platforms. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex may live in California, but the power of their voices rest in the status as citizens of the world. Austria have said in a statement on Tuesday that they are embracing the extraordinary capacity of podcasts on Spotify while also seeking to elevate under representative voices is a testament to their appreciation for the potential of audio storytelling. Pierce Morgan slams Meghan Markle after vegan coffee plug by Opera's Sparks Royal Theory. Good morning, Britain host Pierce Morgan has made another pop at Meghan Markle, this time rounding on the former deal or no deal box girl for gifting pal Opera a hamper of vegan chai lattes that she's invested in. Pierce Morgan was unable to resist taking a fresh swipe at Meghan Markle on Tuesday morning the good morning britain host hit out at prince harry's wife for gifting her pal opera a hamper of vegan chai lattes from a startup company she's invested in megan sent a luxury delivery of the drink mixes to the u.s chat show legend which claimed to promote wellness and reduce anxiety the oatmeal vegan lattes boast a range of flavors including matcha, chai and coffee. Opera posted a clip of the hamper online to millions of followers with her showing off the package in detail, accusing Megan of abusing her royal status. Pierce moaned, I have nothing wrong with a bit of zeal and using celebrity, but she does remain the Duchess of Sussex. We are told sources close to the palace are just not happy with how Mexit is going. The point is they don't use the HRS titles, but they do use the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, so they are using the royal titles to be commercially viable. Going to detail about his point, Pierce continued, Look, I don't care if she wants to sell lattes or not. It's not going to affect my life, but the conflict is if you continue to use royal titles, but you're doing none of the other stuff the royals do, then are just getting commercial gains. Speaking the clip, Opera 66 gushed over the treat, t- telling of followers about each item. The US chat show legend said, so we have this lovely Christmas basket, nice decorations from my neighbor M. We have a matcha super latte, a chai super latte, and my favorite golden super latte. 
Megan recently opened up about investing in the startup business. She told Fortune this investment is in support of a passionate female entrepreneur who prioritizes building community alongside a business. I'm proud to invest in CEO Hannah's commitment to sourcing ethical ingredients and creating a product that I personally love and that has a holistic approach to wellness. I believe in her and I believe in her company. However, it seems that the roles are not impressed, as a source told the Mirror. It is hard to see how emojis apparently trading on royal connections is respecting the values of the royal family.